when you go out there and you get your first laugh and it's, you know, just this gigantic laugh, it just feels so good. And then yeah. you just feel settled in. If you don't get a laugh, you're like, oh shit, <laughs> this is terrible. And then the sweat comes down like the Albert Brooks in broadcast news and you're just like, oh my God. In 1989 into 1990, you starred in nine episodes of the final season of New Heart at Art Resnick, as Art Resnick, should I say, Mr. Yeah. Resnick, let me pronounce it correctly. <laughs> uh, can you tell us about that experience and what was, like, what was it like performing in front of a live studio audience? Okay, so that was one of my first uh, jobs. I was, uh, I was 25. I was a nervous wreck every single time that the audience came in. Um, and then, you know, working with you know, Bob Newhart and Peter Scolari was on that show and Tom Poston, who was a legendary um, shticky comedian back in the day. And I remember my, my parents would come to the tapings and I remember I, I watched actually a couple of old episodes and I could hear my parents actually <laughs> laughing in the audience, which was actually kind of cool. Yeah. It was just a great experience. I learned so much. You know, I was a lot younger than most of them and they all, you know, they all took me under their wing and they were very nice to me. And I was just like, I was just looking around like, how am I working with Bob Newhart? That's crazy. And I was just hired to do a couple. I was a manager of a shoe store and I guess Bob apparently said, hey, that kid's funny, you should bring him back. And that's how I kept going. And I got to be in that um, kind of iconic last episode of the show. This, um, which so, is really cool. So you didn't hear your you know, like you, you didn't hear your parents laughing on the like shooting it live. You heard it like on the rerun. Is that was that typical? Like when you're performing, do you is, was were you tuning out the audience in general, or did it become like just chatter in the background? I, you know, I, you hear the audience. I just didn't hear my. Also, I was just, as I said, I was a nervous wreck. Yeah. So I was just like, oh my god. But like when you go out there and you get your first laugh and it's, you know, just this gigantic laugh, it just feels so good. And then yeah. you just feel settled in. If you don't get a laugh, you're like, oh shit, <laughs> this is terrible. And then the sweat comes down like the Albert Brooks in broadcast news and you're just like, oh my God. Unless you're Norm MacDonald, then you're just kind of silently getting off on it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't have that in me. I need uh, people to laugh, to like me. Yes. Um, when I was looking up, the, uh, doing the research for this interview, I saw something that was pretty funny. There seems to be a bit of a wiki controversy surrounding your character on New Heart and how it is listed on Wikipedia. Someone issuing a uh, formal inquiry demanding that a modification be considered. They said, Davis Pressman. Yes, this person who wants clarification. <laughs> Davis... <laughs> Pressman appeared as Mr. Rusnak in nine episodes. That's the same as Mrs. Goodard and more than Bev or Dr. Kaiser. He deserves to be listed under the recurring characters heading 2605 colon E00E colon 2FC0 colon E. And it goes on for some time with, uh, how do you feel about this? I mean, whoever, that guy is a hero or woman is a hero. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, I should be listed in the recurring I mean, for God's sakes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're really all I can say about call. that. Yeah. I mean, I mean good grief. <laughs>